Silicon Valley Future Forum. So we basically work on the imaging-centered medical analytics. So a diagnostic problem is usually complicated and comprehensive. Uh, usually we don't just talking about medical imaging. This is part of the um, uh, health exams in the hospital. There are other tests on the human body as well. So we work on different types of uh, medical examinations, but usually medical imaging play a very important role in it, and we call it imaging-centered. And also our products are designed for uh, for real clinical settings, not some online uh, games or online uh, competitions about uh, cancer detection, those sim simple tasks. So we are funded in uh, Los Angeles, and we now have uh, offices in Beijing, Shanghai, Los Angeles, and uh, Phoenix in the Mayo Clinic. Uh, our people are mostly from uh, the active companies or research institutions in this industry. And uh, we worked in the UCLA Computer Science Department and the Cedar Sinai Medical Center where they have a group called the AI in Medicine Group. And this group has been uh, exist for over 20 years. And uh, we computer science researchers, PhDs, work closely with uh, uh, medical uh, doctors, physicians uh, on a daily basis. And uh, we design uh, very new clinical flow for the for next generation of uh, medical diagnosis. And after that, we also attracted people from Mayo Clinic, CMU, GE, Philips, uh, Siemens, and many other companies in this area. We have one goal, to, it's to provide accessible diagnosis. We will enlarge the capacity of big hospitals and at the same time provide uh, similar quality medical services in rural areas and uh, uh, countryside. So the founders are my PhD advisor, Dimitri Tazopoulos. Uh, besides, uh, he is a distinguished professor in UCLA. He is also the fellow of Royal Society of London and uh, Canada and IEEE fellow, ACM fellow. And uh, he won an Oscar award for his uh, achievement in the uh, film industry in 2005, and his overall citations uh, over 55,000 times. And another co-founder is a uh, professor in ASU, the Arizona State University. He's also the first batch of uh, Mayo Clinic's faculty in residence, and he has been working in Siemens as a research scientist for eight years, and over uh, 40 uh, medical image analysis algorithm are invented by Jamie Liang in, in uh, Siemens. And we are funded by the uh, world's top uh, venture capitals, uh, New Margin and uh, Sequoia. So when we design our products, we are not talking about solving a problem of uh, a, a small disease. We are talking about we build a new clinical workflow for doctors. So for medical image analysis and uh, uh, diagnosis, we use this new workflow. So when a patient lie in a uh, medical imaging scanner, uh, for example, it's a CT or MRI machine, and uh, once the scan is finished, the data is automatically pushed onto the cloud, and this cloud has com computation power and the AI models to perform quantitative analysis and uh, uh, data-driven diagnosis for the patient and uh, generate a second opinion report to the doctors. However, this report has to be signed and uh, double-checked by the doctor before it is released uh, to the hospital or to the patient. S uh, in this way, the first three steps are fully automated and uh, uh, the doctor doesn't need to spend more time on the tedious job and uh, he can spend time on the difficult cases or have a communication with the patient. That's the uh, actual uh, value of a doctor, not do this tedious work of the previous three steps. So uh, to realize this uh, pipeline, so we have our uh, unique way of doing this. Uh, basically, it's uh, about data collecting, uh, problem formulation, 
and the training a model. So usually we would have a deep understanding of a certain disease and we set a realistic goal for our product and then we collect data for that application. Usually we collect, of course, the imaging data, for example, CT of the chest of a patient and that's not enough. We also collect the heterogeneous data around the patient. So uh, j like I meant, what I mentioned just now, imaging is only one part of diagnosis, although it plays a very important role, but for example, other blood tests, the history of the patient, the family history of the patient, and even the DNA data play some role in a diagnosis. So we, all, we, we take all the data of the patient and we use the gold standard to train the model. Gold standard means the actual real diagnosis of the patient. Uh, th this is different from uh, the doctor's subjective opinion. Uh, we usually don't collect the report of uh, doctor's sub subjective opinion because there are usually variations, inter-observer var variations and the intra-observer var variations in the report, and the, which means there are a, s a probability for error for the diagnosis. So each disease have its gold standard. For example, cancer, usually a biopsy or pathology test, that's an invasive test. That's the gold standard of uh, cancer diagnosis. Uh, uh, for different diseases like eye disease, like a diabetic a macular amida, this disease uh, gold standard is the eye OCT. So different diseases have different gold standard, that, but that's, that's our way to do it. We never use a doctor's subjective uh, opinion and uh, we merge them together and uh, train a deep learning really big model with high capacity to solve the problem. So the data is 100% uh, correct and clean, we guarantee. And uh, let me go through uh, the selected products we, are, we currently have. Uh, we have a pulmonary uh, disease solution for chest CT is a low dose chest CT for uh, screening use. Uh, so we focus on lung cancer and also other full coverage of uh, pulmonary disease, also including cardiac disease in the same imaging scan. And this product is submitted to FDA, uh, to China FDA, and we are pr preparing for the FDA, US FDA uh, clearance. And we also, so only for, from the image, it's very difficult to actually define an early lung cancer patient. So, but, but however, the customer needed, they want to know, okay, if, if we have a, uh, if I have a lung nodule in, the, in my body, I really want to know whether it's a cancer or benign lesion. That makes myself cannot sleep. So to, to solve this problem in uh, in really early stage, we, we will release the world's first liquid biopsy plus imaging solution for cancer screening. And, and the liquid biopsy was achieved by the sequencing and the analysis of a ctDNA. Uh, ctDNA technology was usually used uh, in, the, you know, in, the, in the tumor, in measuring the tumor progress through the treatment. Uh, it, it is never used for early screening, but now a UCLA spin-off, also a UCLA spin-off company called Early Diagnosis, they develop a liquid biopsy technology for early lung cancer and the liver cancer uh, screening. And the pl we will merge the feature from the ctDNA and the radiology uh, CT images together to provide 100% uh, specificity and uh, over 95% sensitivity solution for, for lung cancer screening and it's non-invasive, so everybody can do it without a, a large surgery or some tube plug into your body. So this is really the first world's first solution for this uh, big cancer disease. And we also focus on the coronary artery disease and this is uh, 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 innovation in the cardiac CT reading workflow. Uh, current uh, way of reading cardiac contrast CT 
is very rough. And doctors measure the stenosis percentage of a patient and, uh, and decide whether he or she need a stent in the, in the cardiovascular or not, or, or even bigger surgery. But there's more information come from the CTA that is not used nowadays. So our software will automatically find the coronary, three coronary arteries of the heart from the image and straighten it and find the plaques that cause the stenosis in the vessel and we know the density and the, uh, and the risk of those plaques. This information usually comes from an uh, interventional examination uh, called the DSA or IVAS in the hospital. That's a really big surgery for the, uh, uh, for the patient but now we can do it in a non-invasive way. This is already FDA cleared. This is a product we collaborate with Cedar Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles and this also CE marked. Uh, it's, uh, it's also submitted for the China FDA uh, approval. Okay, we have a next generation of this product to, to actually connect the imaging with with the uh, major cardiac event of the patient. We collected 50,000 patients from China with a 301 hospital there. And uh, we follow the patient for five years and to see what kind of event they, they encounter in the, uh, for, the, for their heart. Then we can predict the patient from his or her image that what's the probability for him or her to have a cardiac event in the future five years. And even we want to broaden our uh, uh, product to target an even bigger population, which is the chest pain uh, patient. There are usually three causes of chest pain, coronary artery disease, pulmonary embolism, and uh, aortic dissertation, so uh, dissection. So we have the previous two technologies already. We're working on the third one, then chest pain is a very huge population and uh, over 50 years old till death, uh, there is seldom uh, yeah, people without uh, a chest pain experience. And we also focus on ultrasound and x-ray uh, screening solutions. And we also focus on the uh, eye uh, diseases and we have DR, diabetic retinopathy, diabetic uh, mal uh, macular, um, uh, Amida and uh, AMD aged related molecular degeneration and all, all the five diseases from the same image. And even more <laughs> interesting is that uh, this is an application that cannot be completed by a hospital. So we can record a video of a kid and uh, uh, from the video we see whether this kid have the vision disorder because a kid under three years old he or she doesn't have a, a, a language a capability to tell the doctor or their parents they have vision problem, but that we can just see from a controlled in, environment and a, a video camera. Okay, uh, we kind of build, uh, it's building our knowledge graph on the medical imaging, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, we, we want computers to know that the relationships between tissue and organ lesion, disease and the pathology. Currently we have already uh, collected over 16 million uh, cases of uh, data in among uh, 100 hospitals in the U.S. and the China, and we submitted five CFDA applications uh, of our products. Yeah, uh, th thanks for the attention. And uh, uh, you can, if you are uh, going to the Hawaii uh, conference of computer vision CVPR, we were uh, holding a, a private party there. Yeah. I'll see you in Hawaii. Thank you. Silicon Valley Future Forum.